What mass of carbon dioxide is formed when 20 grams of calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid? Well, we're going to start off with mass first, and we've got 20 grams. We want to work out how many moles of uh, calcium carbonate we've got. So first we just need to work out what's the, the molar mass of uh, calcium carbonate. Well, calcium is 40, carbon is 12, and we've got oxygen, and we've got three of them. So we've got 3 times 16. So add all these up together, and we get molar mass of 100. So mass divided by molar mass, and we get our uh, number of moles, which is 0 0.2. Uh, next step, we're going to work out moles on this side. But first we need to look at the ratio. So we're looking at calcium carbonate, so we've got a 1 in front of there, and we want to know carbon dioxide, and it's 1 in there. So nice 1 to 1 ratio. So we've got the same number of moles over here, 0 0.2. Back down we go. We want to now find the mass of, uh, of carbon dioxide. So we need to know the molar mass. Well, carbon dioxide is CO2. So we've got uh, carbon, just one of them, which is 12. And then we've got oxygen, which is 2 times 16, which is 32. 32 uh, and 12, we get uh, 44. So finally, the mass is 0 0.2 times by the molar mass of carbon dioxide, which is 44. Let me just put this in the calculator. And we get 8.8 uh, .8 grams. That's our final answer. What mass of oxygen reacts with 129 grams of magnesium? So we'll start off with mass, and we're going over to moles. Uh, now we've got 192 grams of magnesium. Okay, so we want to work out how many moles we've got. 192 divided by the atomic mass of magnesium, which is 24. 192 divided by 24, we get 8 moles. Okay, now we want to look. Okay, how many moles of oxygen uh, do we have? Okay, now if you look here, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. So we've got uh, 8 moles on the left. Therefore, if it's 2 to 1, we're going to have 4 moles on this side. Okay, back down we go to mass. What mass of oxygen uh, is, is what we're after? So, oxygen... O2, well it's 16 times by 2, which is 32. And we so each mole, okay, each mole would be 32 grams. But remember we have got four of them, so four times 32. Uh, let's have a look. Four times 32 is 128 grams. That's our final answer. What mass of oxygen? is needed to react with 4.5 grams of ethane. Okay, so we've got 4.5 grams. And that's our mass. So how many moles do we have? Well, uh, me, uh, ethane, we've got uh, two carbons, and then we've got six times one, which is gonna be six and 24. Add the whole thing up, 24 plus 6, we get 30. So that's the molar mass of ethane. So 4.5 divided by 30. This is going to tell us how many moles we've got. And we have got 0 0.15. Now, we want to go over to moles on this side. And um, we're looking for oxygen. So the ratio is a bit of an odd one. It's 2 to 7. So 2 to 7. Okay, so it's not a problem. 0 0.15. Okay. Okay, times by 7, divide by 2. 
times by 7 divided by 2 and we get uh, 0 0.525 okay and finally back down we go we're looking here for oxygen so oxygen O2 which is 2 times 16 which is 32 and then finally what's our mass well the number of moles uh, times by the molar mass and we get our final number of at 16.8 grams there we go okay next up what mass of hydrogen is formed when 0 0.2 grams of calcium react with hydrochloric acid so we've got our mass and that's 0 0.2 grams we want to go to moles now uh, looking at calcium and calcium on the periodic table has got a uh, atomic mass of 40 so 0 0.2 divided by 40 and we get how many moles we have got uh, 0 0.005 moles okay moving over how many moles of hydrogen have we therefore got well let's have a look at the ratio it's 1 to 1 thank you very much that's nice and easy so we've got 0 0.005 moles on this side back down we go to mass so uh, we're looking at hydrogen now so hydrogen H2 is 1 times 2 which is 2 so each mole uh, would have a mass of 2 grams but we have got 0 0.005 so times those by 2 and uh, let's see what we get well we get 0 0.01 grams that's our final one okay what mass of carbon monoxide is needed to reduce uh, one kilogram which is a thousand grams of iron oxide to iron okay so we've got our mass of iron uh, we've got a thousand grams so I mean we've got a mass of uh, iron oxide I mean so it's Fe2O3 so oxygen we've got 3 times by 16 and then iron uh, we get uh, 2 times 56 so the total here uh, of the molecular mass is 160 so we've got a thousand grams so this is getting a little bit messy a thousand divided by one six zero so one thousand divided one six zero this is going to tell us how many moles we're dealing with and the number of moles is six point two five okay over we go moles on this side so what's our ratio well we've got one iron here and three here so it's a one to three ratio so if we've got uh, 6.25, we need to times that value by 3. So we say 6.25 times by 3 divided by 1. Okay, and we get a nice value of 18.75. Now carbon monoxide is CO. So this is 12 and this is 16. Uh, 12 plus 16 is 28. So the whole thing is equal to 28 and finally well what can I go in here the mass okay is going to be 28 multiplied by 18.75 uh, and our final answer is uh, 5 to 5 grams 525 grams I hope you got the answer too all right, what mass of oxygen is needed to burn 110 grams of propane? Okay, so like always, we'll start off with mass and we will go to moles. So our mass is 110 grams. Now, we've got 110. We want to divide that by the molar mass. Well, carbon, we've got 3 times by 12 and uh, 8 times by 1, well that's 8, uh, 3 times by 12, we've got 36. The total 
uh, we get 44. So we're going to divide this by 44. So 110 divided by 44. This is going to tell us how many moles we've got. Nice number, 2.5. OK. Now let's have a little look at our ratio. Well, it's a 1 to 5 ratio. So the 2.5, I need to multiply by 5 and divide by 1. So times by 5, we get an answer of 12.5 uh, moles. And then finally, back down to mass. Well, we're talking about oxygen. Oxygen, O2, 2 times 16 equals 32. We've got 12.5 moles, so 12.5 times by 32 uh, we get a mass of 400 grams okay last up what mass of iron reacts with 14.2 grams of chlorine okay so starting off as always mass uh, going to moles well we've got 14.2 grams of chlorine and chlorine at Cl2 is 35.5 times by 2. 35.5 times by 2. We get a, a molar mass of 71. So 14.2 divided by 71. We have 0 0.2 moles. Okay, going to the other side. Now let's have a look. What's our ratio? Well, we've talked about chlorine so three starting off going to iron which is two so it's a three to two ratio so 0 0.2 times by two divided by three and we get uh, uh, 0 0.13 recurring okay so 0 0.13 recurring then finally we're talking about iron well iron Fe on a periodic table is going to mole, uh, well, atomic mass of 56. So lastly, 0 0.13 recurring multiplied by 56, we're going to get our final mass, which is equal to uh, 7.47 grams.